Hi students, myself Dr. H. D. Sadanandan, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, PhD College of Arts and Science. Let's get into the video. Good morning students. In this video, we are going to discuss what is process costing, then how to prepare a process account. CIMA London defines process costing as the form of operation costing which applies where standardized goods are produced. So we already know that costing is a technique or a method which is used to ascertain a cost of a product. So this process costing is mainly used by the industries such as chemical industries, textile industries and sugar manufacturing industries etc. where the production has different distinct processes which produces a homogeneous product. So for an example we take it as a textile industry. So how the textile production process is on in the sense first we are going to see first process will be the spinning in the sense converting the yarn then second one is the weaving then third dyeing printing and finishing then at last it comes as a final product so in simple term process costing means the output of one process will be the raw material in the sense input for the other process so for an example here the spinning right so first we are going to convert the cotton sorry raw material in cotton into yarn then we spin it then the output of spinning will be the input for weaving then it will be the input for dyeing printing and finishing at last it converted into a finished product so each process is said to be process 1 process 2 process 3 for an example right the cost of process 1 is accumulated to process 2 then it is accumulated to process 3 in the sense the total cost of process or a production it includes the cost of process 1 process 2 and process 3 so here we are going to see an example how to prepare a process account then we will see how to prepare process 1 2 and 3 account in process 1 account so for an example in process 1 we purchase a raw material for 1000 units for rupees 5000 we purchase a raw material of 1000 units it costs rupees 5000 the direct material cost is 2000 direct wages 3000 direct expenses 1000 then overheads is nothing but the indirect expenses is 1000 so the total number of units in the sense as input is 1000 units the total cost is 12000 so at end so we assume it is a one only one process so at end it is completed as a finished goods so it is nothing but the output or we can call it as finished goods which is transferred to the stock account so the total number of units input is 1000 so when we compare the balancing figure will be 1000 is nothing but the output is also 1000 units the total cost of a process is 12000 so the total cost of production is 12000 so we are going to balance both the sides thank you good afternoon students in the previous video we have seen what is process costing and how to prepare a process account so we have already seen with one process account so now we are going to prepare a process account which has two processes in the sense the production has two processes so for an example so prepare a process 1 and process 2 account from the following information so the expenses of process 1 as well as process 2 is given so in the sense purchase for process 1 we have purchased 1000 units cost rupees 10,000 for materials process 1 5000 process 2 5000 direct wages cost 3000 and 3000 expenses 2000 and 1000 overheads 1000 and 800 so with this information we are going to prepare a process 1 account as well as process 2 account so process costing we know that it has a production as different distinct processes 
where one depends on the other in the simple term the output of process 1 will be the input for process 2 the total cost of prediction includes the cost of process 1 as well as cost of process 2 so we have we are going to see how to prepare a process 1 account as well as process 2 account so first we are going to prepare process 1 account this is nothing but a simple ledger so here on the debit side as well as credit side debit side all expenses so where we purchased a material of 1000 units cost rupees 10,000 material cost 5,000 wages 3,000 expenses 2,000 overheads 1,000 so total units total input units is 1,000 then output the same 1000 units as output is nothing but balance carried on the output of process 1 which is transferred to process 2 account so here two process are there the process 2 depends on the process 1 account so the output of process 1 will be the input for process 2 account so the total cost of production or process 1 is 21,000 then process 2 account so the output of process 1 1000 units cost rupees 21,000 is accumulated to process 2 account so two process one account in the sense transferred from process one account is 1000 so cost rupees 21000 then material cost for process two is 5000 then for wages is 3000 for expenses is 1000 for overheads is 800 so the total out input of process two is 1000 units the total cost of production is 30,800 so finally the output of process 2 is nothing but the finished goods is transferred to stock account if the total number of units produced is 1000 units the cost of production of 1000 units is 30,800 thank you